All right, let's go over our daily buys today. First of all, um, no news besides Empire Manufacturing Index, which already came out. Bears for the S&P. Um, I'm not necessarily going to make this alter my bias. Um, but at least we have it. Um, at least we have the news data. Continuing, um, S&P on the weekly, bullish, daily, bullish. Um, where is the next draw on liquidity? All the way over here, these monthly highs. Where do I want to see price draw towards? We marked this out um, over the weekend. We have the daily in an uptrend, but the four hour in a downtrend. Um, so ideally what we see is price come into like these imbalances into daily equilibrium. But that's not necessarily shorts that we want to take. Um, like me personally, I would much rather just kind of chill um, until like I would just I would just kind of want to just chillax um, until price you know gets down into here. Um, we're bearish on the four hour, bullish on the daily. Um, like who fucking knows on the on the hourly? Um, so on this, uh, I don't think the S and P looks too great today. Um, in ter in terms of taking a trade, uh, ideally we kind of just sit this one out and wait for price to draw lower and lower until we can get some some new longs, um, some new longs ready to go off of this and. Uh, yeah, like I just, I wouldn't want to, I'm looking for longs because that's what the, the daily trend is. Um, and we broke four hours stretch to the downside. We are kind of just like fucking around on the hourly. It doesn't look too hot. So that being said, we'll go ahead and move on over to gold. So on gold, we're in a downtrend on the weekly, but we're in an uptrend on the daily. So... What does that tell us? It means, all right, we're looking for buys because the weekly trend isn't necessarily the one that we want to be like, this is it. Like we can still trade weekly retraces. Um, we can trade based off of where the weekly's going. Okay. Um, but we're going to follow the overall daily trend. So what's the overall daily trend right now? Uptrend. Where is equilibrium? Lying right within here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Um, we broke four hours structure to the downside. Um, so this is another one of those ones where I don't necessarily want to be looking for a trade on this. We are filling the daily like imbalance, which is just this whole price range. Um, but again, uh, daily's bullish. Weekly's bearish, four hours bearish, one hour's bearish. I'm not looking to really take a trade on this. Um, yeah, ideally, I don't take a trade on this. Um, just due to the fact that the daily's in an uptrend and the four hour and one hour are going down along with the weekly being in a downtrend. So it's kind of like, all right, we're going to wait until we either get confirmation from the daily that the weekly is is going to continue this leg on down, which I hope it does. But for now, we can't be saying that because we broke daily structure and until we get a daily break back down, then we can say, okay, continuation's happening. We're getting that extension again. But we don't have that right now and we're chopping down on the four hour right now, so kind of going to be steering clear from gold today as well. Damn, man. Uh, it's pretty similar shit on GU. Um, GU, we're in a uptrend on the weekly, an uptrend on the daily, four hours breaking structure to the downside. Um, again, this is this is one that's kind of... Uh, 
uh, it's very similar, right? The daily's in an uptrend, four hours in a downtrend, one hour's in a downtrend. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see if any of the pairs want to give us something and see if we'll have to adjust our daily bias based off of all this shit um, and see if we can get like kind of a low, like place a low risk trade that's kind of not going with the daily bias, but also has a couple confluences with it. Um, but yeah, this is very similar to all the other ones that we're looking at right now. Daily uptrend, weekly uptrend, four hour downtrend, one hour downtrend. And that's the problem. Like you don't want to be trading down when you have all those high time frames saying up. Same thing with this. Like, well, this is just a mix of biases. This it's weekly saying down, daily saying up, four hours saying down, one hour saying down. Um, this is pretty similar as well. Weekly saying up, daily saying up, four hours saying down, one hour saying down. But some shit that you don't want to be taking. Let's look at GJ for a sec. Oh. Weekly is bullish. Daily is bearish. However, we did break this structure right here. And then if I check, it looks like we tapped into this daily order block right here. So, what I would want, uh, damn. What I wanted was a four hour break of structure. Let's see if we have an hour, okay. We have an hourly break of structure to the downside here. So we can mark out this liquidity and see if this Gives us any moves to the downside off of the sweep? If not, um, you know, that's going to be real interesting for us. We have London session high right here. So it looks like price is going to draw towards that. We have un untouched liquidity here. We also just have this massive draw. Massive draw on liquidity, that massive freaking uh, fair value gap, liquidity void. Down in here. Oh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing. I honestly think I just, we we're going to camp out on GJ today. Um, this looks like the best trade. Because weekly, because this, it's the weekly's in an uptrend. However, we're getting that weekly retracement and we're not even close to equilibrium yet. We broke structure to the downside on the daily, so we're bearish on the daily. Not necessarily bearish on the four hour, but the one hour is saying bearish off this break of structure right here. So I'm thinking, hey, what happens if we sweep this and then get some comp? Then that looks pretty fucking, then that looks pretty good. Um, that's kind of what I see on GJ. The S&P just don't look too hot. Like I wouldn't mind taking a short. I wouldn't mind it. Like that's where, that's what I would want. That's what I would, that's a trade that I would want to take would be a short on this. But dog, like, I don't know, man, like this high, this high right up here too. But also if you look like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We are, let's see. Okay. So we broke structure to the upside on the 15 minute. We're yet to do that on the hourly. That's kind of all the way up here. I honestly think we, we take out some of this liquidity and then we continue lower.
Yeah, like right here is that order block. And we already tapped into it and made a reaction. So like, I don't know, shorts off of this would look good. Like this, boom, look, push into the order block, rally down, like, that's kind of what I'm seeing, but I would much rather just stay on this. Try and find some high confluence she off, um, off these highs. Um, so yeah, that's what I see. We'll go ahead and chill out, wait for market to open. Um, and then from there, we'll get going. All right, bro. Trade recap. I just closed out of the trade. Um, this was, this was pro quite possibly, bro, like quite literally, uh. quite possibly, quite literally the worst price action I've ever seen in my entire life. Like across every pair. Obviously, it's not really Price's fault because it's up to us to figure it out. Hello. Um, I just thought y'all wanted to see my face. But anyways, I closed for a $200 profit on this, all right? Um, so this is, what, this is what we took. We took a GU trade. I wish we took the GJ trade that we set up, but we'll go over all of it. First of all, the S&P... Four, four hour was bearish, daily was bullish, one hour was who the fuck knows, right? That's what we talked about. We didn't want to take a trade on this, and thank God we didn't, because what on earth, right? Like, this is... This is child's drawings, all right? Um, so glad we didn't trade the S&P. Moving forward to GU, we'll go over the trade that we took on this. Um, so essentially we had these highs marked out. All right. The daily we're bullish, right? But I'm thinking, damn, daily's real overextended. This is equilibrium on the, on the daily. We could probably see price fall a little bit. All right. This wasn't necessarily like a great trade to take, obviously. Um, but it was a potential trade, um, so, you know, that's what we ended up doing, took a potential trade, and I severely de-risked, like, I'm talking about, like, a tenth of what I usually put in, I did 15 lots on this, and I usually do 100, 100 if that gives you any sort of perspective of what I was doing with this, all right, also the fact that the, uh, the stop was a little bit larger than like most of the stops I use on GU. But anyways, we saw price sweep this. And to me, that's hourly liquidity. And if we're breaking structure down to the downside on the four hour, and we got this huge equilibrium all the way down here, along with us being bearish on the four hour and the one hour, that's enough bearish bias for me to potentially take a trade. All right, so what did we look for? We literally just seen, boom. Highs get swept, break of structure to the downside. That's all we entered off of. Just like that, all right, we entered off that. Boom, stops were above the these Asian session highs right up here. I kind of matched it up, so it was a 15 pip stop. Um, and then we just got kind of stuck in uh, stuck in, in profit. Like, not a bad place to be. I would much rather be stuck in profit consolidating than stuck in drawdown consolidating. Um... But I mean, every single market today was just like, from what I've seen, like, I don't know what, what you're going to be trading to make some bread on that. And I know I'm going to get comments of smart asses saying, well, I traded today and made a billion dollars. All right, Cupcake, like, congratulations. Um, you know, like, good job. But this is not like this, bro. Like, like, who's trading this? Like, bro, like. We spent a whole hour fucking rustling and tussling in here, bro. Like, price was not moving at all. Um, so, yeah. 
once we got a break structure to the upside on this candle, boom, I was I was out of that shit. Okay, because I was like, look, price has been consolidating for literally two hours, two and a half hours now. Um, so I'm done with this. So I got out of that. Honestly, glad that I ended up with 200 bucks in profit um, over losing bread. But still, like, I mean, I'm glad that I closed out at break even, essentially, because... This isn't even a trade that I would have wanted to take in the first place. And the fact that it took so damn long and the fact that I was able to get out of it with profit is good enough for me. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I saw today. Um, how could I improve? Don't fucking take this trade. Um, I did like this GU GJ trade. So we were talking about how this, we're bearish on the daily, right? We came into this daily for, uh, order block. We tapped in there. Um, I initially wanted it just to react off this hourly high and give us a reaction, but instead it pushed up to these hourly highs and that's why I didn't take it because it pushed past the London high and then kind of got right up towards the Asian session high and then made its move to the downside off this. We got boom, break of structure, and then it drew towards right here, this, um, this Asian session high, sorry, these were the prior New York session highs from last week. Um, we see price boom, draw into that Asian session high, and now we're getting a reaction to the upside. This is probably the best trade that we could have taken today. Uh, gold was doing who knows what, right? Just sweeping liquidity, filling this imbalance, and then fucking around. Um, the S&P was doing, it was doing stuff, which is not enough for us to really take anything off of it. And then GU, it was giving us some heat to the downside for a little bit. Um, but yeah, no, after after we started getting movement back to the upside, I was like, all right, if we break 15 minute structure, I'm out of this thing. Um, no reason to no reason to be going short on a on a pair when the daily is uh, daily's in uh, in bullish conditions and um, and we start to see bullish confirmation on lower time frames. That's never a good thing to do. So that's kind of that was kind of my thought process going into it. Um, why I closed there? Sure, yeah, maybe price comes and hits all of our take profits. That would be cool to know that our bias was correct. But I'm just not willing to take that risk this late in the market. It's already 2 p.m. over here, so um, we're not going to be doing all that. Um, I'd rather just keep myself safe. Let me show the break even P and L. I made 199 bucks and nine cents. So uh, yeah, that's um, that's pretty much that's pretty much how we did today. Uh, I wouldn't wouldn't have wanted to take a trade on the S and P. Um, our ideal entry would have been off of anything down here, but price just kept going higher and higher. Didn't give us any reactions off this, and the daily was bullish. Weekly was bullish. The four hour was bearish though until recently. Um, and so was the one hour. The one hour was technically bearish, but we did make this higher low right here. But then we finally closed above here. And then when we closed above here, I actually flipped my bias. I was like, cool, we can look for longs now. But price just never gave us an entry. Um, so yeah, that's the, those were pretty much the uh, setups that I was looking for. Um, we talked about that on the... Um, during our daily bias, hopefully you guys are liking these uh, these boot camp slash trade recaps. This is kind of what we're going to be doing on all days moving forward. And then on weekends, we can go over like some psych psychological stuff along with um, just like some other like random tips. Like we can start dipping into, I don't know, some of the stuff that you guys are you guys want to cover like some random questions, but I think this is a kind of a good plan to keep going forward with this. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I saw for today. That being said, I'm going to dip out of here. Make sure you guys watch the vlog that gets uploaded today. Should be up relatively soon. Um, pretty much a break even day for me. 
Hopefully you guys stayed safe from these these pretty bad market conditions today. I'll make a TikTok right now. We'll see how you guys did because I know you guys love talking about the money that you made when I don't make money or if I break even for the day. So that being said, I'll catch you boys. I'll see you later today in the vlog um, and then also see you again tomorrow. All right. Peace.